Chapter 1. The Mysterious Game of Disguise The sun was shining brightly through the windows of the cozy living room where a group of children were gathered for a game of hide and seek. The air was filled with excitement as they all eagerly waited for someone to be the first seeker. Okay, who wants to be it? asked Sarah, the oldest of the group. I do, I do, shouted Tommy, raising his hand enthusiastically. All right, Tommy, close your eyes and count to ten while we all find a hiding spot, Sarah instructed. Tommy covered his eyes with his hands and started counting. One, two, three. The children scattered around the room, trying to find the perfect spot to hide. Some squeezed behind the curtains, while others ducked behind the furniture. Jenny even found a clever disguise by hiding under a pile of cushions on the couch. After counting to ten, Tommy shouted, Ready or not, here I come. He started searching for his friends, peeking behind the doors and under the table. One by one, he found each of them until only Sarah was left to be discovered. Sarah was known for her clever hiding spots, and this time was no exception. She had disguised herself by wearing a large hat and sitting perfectly still in the corner of the room. Tommy searched high and low but couldn't find her anywhere. Where are you, Sarah? He called out a hint of frustration in his voice. Suddenly, Sarah popped out from her hiding spot, causing Tommy to jump in surprise. The children burst out laughing, happy to see their friend finally found. With the first round of the game over, the children decided to switch roles, with Sarah becoming the new seeker. This time, they found even more creative spots to hide, including behind the curtains, under the table, and even inside the closet. The game continued for hours, with each round bringing more laughter and fun. The children enjoyed the thrill of seeking and the excitement of hiding, each term more challenging than the last. As the sun began to set, the children reluctantly decided to call it a day. They all sat together in the living room, tired but happy from a day filled with games and laughter. Today was so much fun, said Jenny, a smile on her face. I can't wait to play again tomorrow. And with that, the children said their goodbyes, already looking forward to the next round of hide and seek. The game may have ended, but the memories of their playful afternoon would stay with them forever. Question, what are some common hiding spots during a game of hide and seek? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Thrill of Being Found Jimmy loved playing hide and seek with his friends in the park. It was always so exciting to hide in different places and try not to get caught. The thrill of being found was exhilarating for him. As the game started, Jimmy quickly ran to find the best hiding spot he could. He squeezed behind the big oak tree and held his breath, waiting for his friends to seek him out. The sound of their footsteps got closer and closer, making his heart race with anticipation. Suddenly, he heard someone shout, I found you, Jimmy. He peeked out from behind the tree to see his friend Lily grinning from ear to ear. It was the last round of the game, and Jimmy couldn't help but feel a little sad that the fun was almost over. But then Lily suggested they play one more round, and Jimmy's excitement soared. He found a new hiding spot behind the bushes this time, determined not to be found so easily. The thrill of the game made him forget about everything else as he waited for his friends to seek him out. After what felt like hours, he heard the familiar voices calling out, Ready or not, here we come. Jimmy held his breath and tried not to make a sound as his friends searched high and low for him. Finally, he heard Lily's excited squeal, I found you again, Jimmy. Even though he had been found, Jimmy couldn't help but laugh along with his friends. Playing hide and seek was always so much fun, whether he was the seeker or the one hiding. The thrill of the game never failed to make his heart race with excitement. As the sun began to set, they all gathered near the playground to catch their breath and share stories of their favorite hiding spots. 
Jimmy loved how each round brought new surprises and challenges, making the game even more exhilarating. As they said their goodbyes and promised to play again soon, Jimmy couldn't stop smiling. Being found was just as fun as hiding, especially when he was playing with his friends. The thrill of the game always made him feel alive, and he couldn't wait for the next round of hide-and-seek. Question, how do you feel when you are the last one to be found in a game of hide-and-seek? Check the video description for the answer.